987TV, your most social media. You're with the double D's right now. <laughs> and Ian Fang has arrived, D. Yes, he Yee-hoo! has. You know what? In fact, we're going to give him a huge round of applause. If we can find the children who usually do that. Children. Applause now, please. There we go. Ian Fang. Yo, what's up, everybody? Oh, there you go. Man, it's yeah. so good to have you in the studio. Thank you so much for coming. What did you do earlier in the day today? No, I was filming. Filming? Yes, I and was filming every single day. Oh, actually. my gosh. Yeah. And, and how long were you doing it for? And um, just maybe just 12 hours. Just yeah, yeah, yes. 12 hours. It's not like a little girl like that complains so much. <laughs> 12 hours is crazy. It's no, absolutely it's, crazy. It's my job. And, yeah. and, and what is this for? Which you know TV drama are you in oh, now? Oh, it's I'm um, doing for uh, Surf Hot. It's uh, Channel U next year, I think January. Okay. Yeah, 13 episode of uh, 13 episode drama. Oh, fantastic. And, yes. and you know, uh, today, if we turn on, on uh, Channel 8, what shows will we see you on? Uh, you mean today? Yeah. Oh no, today, no, 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 not today. today. Like, I mean, like now, around this time. Year, yeah. Next year, next year again. There's uh, gonna be a soccer drama. Oh, a yeah, drama. drama. Mm. Yeah. So you like to play with balls? <laughs> <laughs> That's like good. soccer balls, oh, yeah, basketball, soccer ball, basketball. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. The bigger, the better. The yes. bigger, <laughs> the better. The smaller, the cuter. Yeah. <laughs> you heard that, Noah? Anyway, uh, we have <laughs> just when. He walked into the studio, D. <laughs> yes. We actually scared Ian. Oh, of course And we it's did. already up on our Facebook page. Yes, Facebook.com yes. slash the double DD. Uh, you can check out Ian Fang's super scary cat face. <laughs> and uh, he's, he's such a good sport. I yeah, mean, yeah. you know, he was so, so like laughing about it. He says he'll get me back. Yeah. We'll Soon. see. We'll see if it happens. We'll see if Definitely. it happens. Definitely. I will. For sure. Uh, Ian, in just a bit, you're going to join us for a, a, a topic okay? mm-hmm. yeah, sure. on the Double D Cafe. So once again, if you're tuning in right now, you're a huge fan of Ian. Make sure you contribute your topics to at 987 the double Ds. Yeah. We'll sift through them, find the best one and talk about it. And that is, of course, what you're tuned into right now with the double Ds and Ian Fang, who's in the studio with us. Okay, right now for Double D Cafe. Quiet, huh? Yes, yes, yes. He's a, he's a very <laughs> contemplative young man. He's thinking about a lot of things, probably mostly about, wow, these guys are so brown skinned. <laughs> nah. <laughs> I have never been so surrounded by brown. He's like holding on to his wallet very carefully. But, <laughs> but don't worry, Ian. We will just take your shoes. That's it. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Really. No, oh, thank you so much for, you know, once again taking your time to do this no, with no us. Problem. No problem. And we're talking about, you know, uh, materialism and yeah. we're going to run through some tweets first yeah no problem and uh, and then we'll go to the phone lines later on yes uh, but this is one coming in from uh, hey our very own Nick Shields <laughs> okay <laughs> Nick Shields got nothing better to do <laughs> Nick Shields says I think it's you know because we care too much about what other people think about us mm-hmm. so we only uh, you know buy things and all these things to impress other people mm. we only care about things at face value but without Honesty, looking past looks, clothes, and belongings. That's and actually quite true to a certain extent. Right. Nick Shields, Ian Fang approves your existence. <laughs> you are, yes. Jesse Owl says, uh, Sing- yes, it's true that we are materialistic because Singaporeans need a lot of money to survive and afford an affluent lifestyle. Okay, maybe... Okay, maybe in Singapore we're not being materialistic yeah. but we're being practical ah, yes because true. it's so hard to survive in Singapore that chubby girl says especially in Singapore same point as well everything you do has got to do with money mm. and uh, this one coming in from Raz Leek says maybe because they think you know they might be judged by other people if they don't have money. That's very interesting. And uh, here says Dr. Quake. Hey, David is mm. tuning in. Uh, they want only to, uh, but they want. <laughs> I'm sorry. They only want their children to take a course that can offer them an ease of finding a job, even if it's not their passion. Right. That's true. And so you know we become, according to Daniel Ron, mm-hmm. uh, who's a quite a big YouTuber as well. Yeah. <clears throat> Daniel Ron says, we've become molded into my money-minded zombies because of the intense competition that we've been brought up with within our society. Wow. That's true. That's very true. So, at the end of it all, everyone agrees that Singaporeans are materialistic. Yeah. But, you know, whether it's by necessity or mm. whether it's by choice, yeah. that is what we're trying to determine. Yeah. Okay? So, in just a bit, we're going to come back and find out what Ian's opinion is. Mm-hmm. And we're also going to play the call right after this song that's all about materialism and money. Just- 
apt for this moment of time. Enjoy this one. It's Lord with Royals and 987. We're on right now with Ian Fang. Hey. Ian, thank you once again for taking the time to do this. Yes. Uh, He's on, of course, for the Double D Cafe. We're talking about, you know, whether or not Singaporeans are materialistic. I think we've more or less determined that we all are. Somehow, one way or another. So, Ian, we're going to ask you, the Double D is going to ask you, do you think Singaporeans are materialistic because we need to be or because we choose to be? I think you choose to be. We choose to be. Yeah. So we don't because really everything be. here is really, really very expensive. Okay. okay. So we really, we need to have a proper job right, to right. have a, a basic salary and all that. Okay. And then you see, come on, you still have to um, support your family. Right. Right. Sometimes and all that. Okay. Everything is really expensive here. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely, you still want to look good sometimes. Right. Also. Right. So you have put expensive clothes on and okay. all that mm. to maybe to impress others. Okay. Yeah. But I don't know. But to me, it's always the love issue. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he wants to talk about it. Love like nah. me. In Fang, heartbroken yeah. man. Because yeah, it was so, yeah. It's never all passed. As yeah. you said, that the you know the girl that you were with last time left you because she felt that you didn't have enough money. Oh, well, I'm not before, saying... Before then. Before yeah, then. yeah, yeah. Long I'm not saying time. that I'm a good guy, but I'm really, really very sweet while I was... Whoa, 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 whoa. you with her. Yeah, Ladies, whoa, whoa. you heard that. So, Ian Fang is the man. So would you go out with a girl who has no money at all, but that you love very much? Definitely, because I can earn the money, I can give her. Ah, and, and if you had no money, do you think a girl should go out with you because you love her a I lot? I really wanted to say that I'm really good out. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we do not say he can make your bed rock. Uh, yeah, like, like let's Mr. Just, Flintstone. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. That's very interesting. Thank you very much mm, for thank that. Thank you so much. And uh, we're going to wrap this all up, of course, on the Double D Cafe with uh, our mm-hmm. opinions. Mm-hmm. What mm-hmm. the matter is. D, what do you think? I think that it's true. Singaporeans are very materialistic, and I feel that it's a choice, it's not a need. And because it. Because, you know, over the years, people have cho- chosen to be materialistic. Thus, the society has become materialistic. Right. Because I grew up in the Philippines. I mean, you throw us a stick and a, and a marble and we would create billiard. You know yeah, what I mean? That's true. So we are not materialistic <laughs> at all. Like, we climb trees for leisure. You know okay. what I mean? But okay. in Singapore, you, you can't because it's so... It's just a culture. It's yeah. become a culture. So oh, of course. The answer is no. Yeah. I mean, yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Uh, I just watched this video. I came across this video while we were talking, discussing about mm-hmm. this. Uh, and it's got to do with how small the Earth is. It's right. called the Sagan series mm-hmm. from Carl Sagan. It was a you know big writer about the universe. So just now you were so involved that we do it because of these. Yes. yes. <laughs> so it's yes. all connected. All it's right. all connected. It's called the Pale Blue Dot. And basically, the video talks about, you know, just how small Earth is. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, all the people that you've ever known, all the creators, all the destroyers of civilizations. We're talking about armies, kings, all the stories, everyone you love, everyone you know. Mm. It's all on just a tiny pixel that's barely visible uh, in a picture that's actually quite famous that I will post up on the Double D's page. Right. It's just one dot and all this happens there. Okay. So, the whole point of the video is this. Okay. Before you think about judging someone for you know, some small difference yeah. before you, you think of planning your whole life around a currency that was made up by us anyway to chase something just because somebody else has it. You need to stop because mm. you're this one person on this small dot yeah. and you should just live life the way you want to. Yes, yes. You know, stop really letting agree. money, you know, uh, dictate where you should go, especially in mm. Singapore. Just because somebody has a Chanel bag doesn't mean you need a Chanel bag. Yeah, exactly, I can, exactly. I can just carry an NTUC bag, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. All, all that matters is that you spend the time with the people you love mm-hmm. and, and yeah. And, and stop, do good. And do good. Mm. And do good. So mm-hmm. stop. Stop with the whole money chase. Mm. Yeah. And so just give me all your money. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Ian Fang, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Abadi. Thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun and, uh, you know, we'll hope to have you come back on our show very soon. Really, really? Can I? Of course you sure. can. Sure. Message me, alright. You know what? You, I, know what? I will you message say this you. now, but one day when he's an international superstar, yeah. right? No, I, fly I, I, back. You and join these. You oh. say one, huh? Yeah, you I say, say one. one. We, come we on. Hey. Record it on toggle, yeah, okay? Yeah, no problem, So okay. we were like, hey, remember Watch the my time? my face, I say one. <laughs> <laughs> If not, we will fang pee on your face. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> you can ask the I always, you know, we always you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, fantastic. Awesome. Thank you again so much. Nine eight seven TV. Your most social media.